Okay, so that's what's happening with the market action. But let's now start by focusing on the real estate space. Ambit Capital has put out a very interesting note. We were telling you about this yesterday, where it is bullish on the Ahmedabad real estate market. And it is actually drawing a comparison with the boom that we saw in the Hyderabad market. Remember, the city has clocked in more sales than even, you know, Kolkata, Chennai in the first half of this year. That is the first half of FI23. So to discuss, we are joined by Pavitra Shankar, Executive Director of Brigade Enterprises. Uh, Pavitra, good morning and thanks a lot for joining us. First off, do you agree with this view that, you know, Ambit has put out where they see Ahmedabad is the big new market for real estate? Uh, they're drawing that comparison with the kind of huge boom that we saw in Hyderabad as well. And are you excited by this market? Um, hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, we actually have a presence in Gibbs City, Gujarat, not so much Ahmedabad. Uh, we are, Brigade is primarily a residential developer with a strong portfolio of commercial uh, office, retail and hospitality assets. In Gibbs City, we have an office building and a hotel. Um, so far, we have not seen Gibbs City per se take off from a residential perspective. I understand Ahmedabad is a slightly different market. Um, it is a smaller market, so obviously the potential for growth of a smaller base uh, will be higher than, say, what we see in our larger markets. But uh, Brigade, per se, we focus more on South, uh, South Indian markets like Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad. Uh, personally, I feel that would, uh, it will require some more time for uh, Ahmedabad to get to that kind of size and scale in terms of overall demand. I think probably what uh, the risk is the potential opportunity in the financial services uh, sector stem, you know, coming from the gift city demand uh, and some manufacturing demand that can come in through Ahmedabad. But um, for us, we we see a lot of our uh, driving force of growth coming from the IT sector. And that is why we're very confident about southern markets like Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. Okay, Pavitra, hi. Uh, since you spoke about, you know, Gift City, I wanted to ask you a little more about the commercial, uh, you, you know, the potential over there. Because uh, there is this narrative that higher interest rates could impact the commercial rates. I mean, we saw it with BlackRock closing its real estate fund because of higher redemptions globally as well. Things are not looking that good as interest rates peak. Uh, are you noticing any sluggishness? I'm talking about the commercial portfolio. Uh, actually, I think there is some, there is still some sort of dichotomy between what we're seeing on the global scale as well as in India. Um, of course, what happens globally does have some kind of impact on the Indian commercial leasing outlook. Uh, that said, the absorption has been very good in uh, calendar 2022. Um, I think the impact, what we are seeing is mostly from slowness in decision making. A lot of the recession talk in the US and, and Europe has impacted the speed of taking decisions in terms of lease up in a market like India. But that said, India is the bright spot in the global economy, um, you know, for the next couple of years, at least with the outlook that we have for uh, economic growth as well. So I think that many of these companies are looking to India to maybe lease up, uh, to, to expand their presence and therefore lease up uh, their uh, office presence. Also with a lot of work from home reversing and people coming back to the office, it has also also been easier to get people back to the office in India than they have uh, in the US and Europe. So due to that uh, perspective, I think the leasing outlook in India is far better than what is there uh, in the US. And that's also potentially why Blackstone um, was looking at those redemptions. <clears throat> and always easier, Pavitra, to get people back into a swanky new uh, shiny office, right? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, a good office makes a lot of difference. We need to do a lot of yeah, so, we need to do a lot on the tenant experience to get them back to office. But, um, um, yeah. you know, we are seeing the trend of people coming back. Yeah. Trust me, how much ever, however swanky the office is, if you get a chance to work from home, people would take that. Yeah, I would, I would work from office. <laughs> I would work from office. Really? I mean, I worked through office uh, as, through the COVID. I mean, yeah. I think I worked two weeks or two and a half weeks from home. Uh, but that's also but that's because, because of, for our yeah, industry, it's just a nightmare to, to yeah. work from, from home. home. Yeah. Yeah. No, but... Uh, uh, Pavitra, uh, just a quick point. There is no, even no temporary slowdown in office leasing, etc., because of the uh, talk of a potential recession, uh, etc. There's nothing. The offtake is as strong. No, I would say that there isn't any, I mean, we can't say there is total exuberance in the office sector. Yeah. Um, it is definitely a challenging uh, time to uh, lease up and so on, but there is good demand. Um, but maybe what we had expected or what the general outlook was, I would say about 10 months ago, uh, prior to sort of the um, Ukraine-Russia war really sort of, um, you know, 
uh, escalating to where it was, it was a very, very positive outlook. Since then, things I would say are not as positive, but what is happening on ground is sufficient to sort of give our teams the confidence that we can still lease up whatever remaining vacancy is there in our portfolio. Um, and there are still people, there are still companies touting for space, organizations in India or multinationals who have presence in India are still seeing good demand, uh, sorry, good, uh, you know, prospects locally. So they are still looking for, uh, you know, and they are still rejigging their workplace strategies to figure out what's the best way to get their teams to come back to work. Okay, that is on the commercial real estate. Um, also, you know, you briefly mentioned the uh, the conversion rate that we are seeing. So can you tell us what that's looking like just in the residential market as well? Uh, say 10 people, if they come to see the house, how many actually end up buying it? So, I mean, historically, I would say from a lead to when a lead is generated uh, to when to when people uh, come into the site, that's generally around 20 uh, percent. And then of that, maybe another 10 to 20 percent may convert uh, on the on the ground. Um, but in terms of overall demand, we have actually not seen any slowdown on the residential sector. This is despite prices increasing. Um, we have also taken up pricing across our portfolio consistently. So we're actually facing a bit of a scratchy line there. So apologies for that. But we've got a gist of what you said. And it's good that you ended on a strong note saying that there's no slowdown in demand. Have a great year. If we don't see you again, greetings of the season to you and your entire team at Brigade. But let's now cut across to the RBI Governor Shakti Kanta Das at the Business Standard BFSI Insight Summit. Uh, let's listen in. Because I am often, I am 